shouldn't be wearing my glasses because my glasses have a reflection and y'all can't see my eyes. But if I take them off, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm really blind. And I can't go put my contacts in because my eyes are just irritated right now. The reflection of my glasses is gonna be in this video and it bothers me just as much as it bothers you. So don't even comment about it. Cause I have no choice. You either want to cook a video or you don't. This is your chance. Run. If the reflection in my glasses bothers you, this is your chance to go. Dismiss yourself. We'll wait. Okay, back to the video. Hey girl, tell me what it's like in your world. Tell me about your life, what's the deal? Hey girl, who the naughty type I can tell? Party every night for the thrill. Hey girl, you ain't living right, but you still. Make me want a wife, you for real. Hey girl, tell me what it's like in your world. And I'ma do you right, pretty girl. I'ma do you right. What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zarya, if you ain't know, now you know. Today, y'all, we are making loaded nachos. This is another 20 minute fast, quick meal. And I haven't eaten all day and it's 9.18. So, we're gonna try to make this fast because it's a quick little meal and I thought, why don't I record it? Because y'all want faster, easier meals and this is a fast meal. So today we're making loaded nachos. It's gonna be easy, quick. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients because in the beginning of my videos, I like to show you all the ingredients so that y'all can know what to buy. Take out your notepad and no pen, or notepad and pen, and I'm gonna give you all the ingredients. Cause y'all be in the comments like, what are the ingredients? And I be trying to tell you, but y'all don't take notes. All right, so I have white corn tortillas. These are the mini ones. These are the ones that people normally use for tacos. And I have the pack of, I don't know how many this is. This looks about like about 50 and they're all just like tightly packed together. Tortillas, cause we're making homemade fresh nacho chips. You can also buy Tostitos, you can also use nacho cheese Doritos, but I like making homemade chips because they just taste so good and I just like that. So, we're making homemade chips today. I have a red onion that I've already kind of cut off for a salad, but it's gonna get used today. I have two avocados, y'all know how to make guac. I make guac in Almost majority of my videos at this point, so y'all know how to make guac. I'm not gonna do that on camera today. If you do want to see how I do it, go watch my taco video where I make tacos, and you'll see how to make guac. Um, I have two limes, I have two tomatoes, and I have two jalapenos, which I'm probably only gonna use one. Then on top of that, I have queso dip. This is very important. Let me try to show y'all the brand. Come on. This is the brand of queso dip that I usually get. It is actually like a Mexican brand. It's called Mexican style queso dip, queso blanca. But you can also go get just cheese dip. But I like this, cause this is the real Mexican queso. Like this is fire. Now I know it's probably gonna be comments where real Mexican people be like, girl, that's not it. But to me, to me this is fire, okay? To me this is fire. And we're, we're gonna be eating a little unhealthy today with the cheese and the food because I've been eating healthy all week. I've been working out, can y'all tell? I lost eight pounds in the past week and a half. So we're doing like great. So this is our little splurge meal. Um, and then I bought a rotisserie chicken from, is this Publix or Kroger? This is probably Kroger. This is Kroger, and I've already been eating on it because y'all, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day. And the most, one of the most important parts, Valentina. This is like Mexican hot sauce. Now the kind I got is extra hot. You can get the regular that's not hot. And I have hot taco pack. Can y'all tell I like hot food? <laughs> but you can get the mild taco pack, regular taco seasoning. But I get hot because it adds a little more flavor and sour cream but the sour cream is in the fridge because i don't like my sour cream to be warm i just don't like that i really for this video wanted to make homemade salsa but i was like either i make homemade salsa or i make this a quick 20 minute meal so everything that i had literally cost nothing like these two together was 10 cents the two tomatoes together was like maybe a dollar. I know it wasn't more than a dollar. The hot salsa was about three dollars. The corn tortillas, these were about maybe three. The onion, 
like a dollar and some change. Now this was $3.99, the chicken was $6.99, and the Valentina was 99 cents. So this is a almost under, what, $10 meal, depending on what you have at home. That's why I always say, depending on what you have at home, because some of this stuff I had at home already, but I know some of y'all didn't have it at home, so I'm calculating everything. But if you have some of this already at home, yeah. But the most important part of this video is gonna be this squeezy bottle. You can get this from Dollar Tree. Go to your nearest Dollar Tree, go to the kitchen aisle, and you can find this squeezy bottle. And this is gonna be for my cheese at the end because I melt it and I put it in here and I put it over the top because I don't like it to be clumpy. This makes it real fine and just like on every chip. And I just like for stuff to be spread like evenly, if you know what I mean. Okay, so first steps first, we're gonna take our rotisserie chicken. And we're just gonna shred it and break it down by hand. You can use a fork as well. I literally just take it and I just break it apart. It doesn't need to be broken up all the way, y'all. Like, it don't have to be extra. These little rotisserie chickens, you can also boil chicken breast in a pot of hot water for about like, maybe 20 minutes. I really don't know how long it takes, but that's also another fast way to do it with raw chicken breast. But I like that rotisserie chicken already comes with flavor, so I buy these when I do a lot of shredded chicken type meals because they already have flavor in them. Like they've been in the little rotisserie thing for like hours, so why not? It's a perfect little rendition of shredded chicken. And you see how easily it breaks down? It literally just falls apart. Like you do not have to do much at all. You literally are just breaking it up piece by piece. And then this part, the wing we eat, it's the best part. Oh my God, hold up. I don't know if that's meat or not, but that is sharp. Do y'all see that? That just stabbed my gums. Uh -uh. They're trying to kill us. Watch out for those, cause I ain't never seen that before. I don't like miscellaneous noises. It almost turned into like a jerky. Okay. Uh-uh. It tastes good, but the texture, some of it is hard. I ain't trying to choke. Now, if I die on camera, y'all ain't even gonna get the video. We're gonna go ahead and turn on the oil to make our chips. I'm gonna show y'all how to do the chips. Super easy, super fast, simple. One of the most important keys Peanut oil. If you have vegetable oil, canola oil, you can use that too. But I find that not only does peanut oil fry your food better, I found out that it's a healthier option. And y'all, it gives it the perfect color. Now if you're allergic to peanuts, use canola, use vegetable oil. But for my chips and my like stuff that I fry, besides like fish and fried chicken, I use peanut oil. So we're gonna pour that into this pan over here. I'm not gonna bring y'all close up because y'all already know how it go. Only enough, like maybe, I'm gonna say a half an inch off the base of your pan because the chips fry in like five seconds. Like it's a fast process. So you don't need that much oil because you don't need that. But we're gonna put our chicken to the side. I'm gonna wipe off our cutting board and we're about to cut our tortillas. If you have regular corn tortillas, you can use those. And believe it or not, flour tortillas, you know, the kind that most people like in America, um, for tacos, those work too, but you have to watch them because they burn way faster. Like, they burn way faster. But I'm gonna take out the whole pile like this. Some of them are ripped. I'm gonna take off the ripped one. Although I could have just used it and cut it, but take off the ripped one. I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay, that's half. Then we're gonna cut it in fours. So that's basically turn it around, get the other half, right? Boom, that's fours. You can make them like that. These will be bigger chips, bigger scoops. Now, I like a little smaller scoop. So I turn it again. I cut it into thirds. And try to make it even, make an even cut. And then I turn it one more time and I cut it into fourths. And you see how it just kind of <laughs> fell apart? But these are the perfect nacho chip. The perfect chip. 
really. You have all those chips, you have tons of chips, and all you need is a little sea salt. That's all I sprinkle on them when they come out. But another important thing, while the oil is heating up, take a baking pan and load it with about two layers of paper towels. This is what we're gonna put our chips on when they come out and that's gonna drain all that grease because we don't need greasy chips. We want them to be light, airy, crunchy like a chip you would buy at the grocery store. So, take my paper towel, that's one layer, lay it down for one inch, take another. And I know all the older people watching this is like, ooh, this girl using too many paper towels. I know. My granny tell me the same thing, but that's how I do my fried food. I wanna make sure it's got enough, you know, air, surface area to soak up all the oil. So I take my, my chicken, I take our taco seasoning pack, and I sprinkle about half over it. And I know some of y'all, that's about half of the packet. We still got half of the packet left. Some of y'all probably like, Zaria, what? You're not doing that in the pan? No. Because let me show you what I'm about to do next, okay? Listen, this is my magic. This is how I do it. Look, take your olive oil, and you're gonna put maybe about like one third cup. Okay, now it's gonna take me a minute because this got like a little aerator thing, so not, not too much come out, but hold up. I got a better idea. We just gonna take the cap off for a second. <gasps> no! <gasps> it fell down in there. That's what I get for trying to be cute for YouTube. Okay, we gonna put about that much. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that out. Like, do I just fish it out with something? Like, it's a small top. I can't put my hand in. And I, if I have to pour all the, I have to pour it all out in order to get it. That's a lot. We just gonna have to play it safe. Then I'm gonna take a one third um, cup and I'll fill it up with water. Preferably a little warm water, but if it's cold, it really doesn't matter. And I pour that over, right? Into the chicken. A little rubber spatula and you mix it. And that's gonna make all that seasoning from that packet get into the chicken. And if it's a little too juicy, it's okay. Because when you fry it, it's supposed to be juicy. We only doing the fryer part to warm it up a little. You can also add a little Cajun seasoning at this point, a little garlic powder. But honestly, with all the toppings, I don't really need more seasoning. I don't try to use more seasoning than I need if I don't have to. And you kind of make it into a little like, it looks like a little chicken patty mix. See that? Perfect. And so now while the oil is heating up, our chicken is already mixed, I'm gonna just go ahead and chop up my vegetables how I like them. I'm just chop up my tomatoes, chop up my onions. You chop them how you want. I'm kind of gonna make it into like one big kind of pico de gallo thing. And I'm also gonna make our guac while we're at it. One hour later. All right, so I just finished up our little guac. This is a fast guac that I just did in like 10 seconds. And then I put our tomatoes, red onions, and cilantro in a bowl with lime juice and salt. It's pico de gallo and I make that. So I got those and I'm gonna set them to the side. These are just our toppings. But it looks like our oil is heated up so we're gonna go ahead and start dropping in our chips. I'm gonna show you all the correct way to do it cause you don't wanna drop them in, in a thick pile like this. You wanna make sure they're all separate. And here's another little instrument. This right here is the holy grail tool. It's this spoon with like slotted you know, holes in it. This helps scoop them out really fast without getting all the oil. Y'all, you can find this at Dollar Tree. Seriously, you can. Like, Dollar Tree, the kitchen area, it has this. This I got from Walmart for like $4, but on the budget, a dollar, because it still works. So I'm gonna move y'all close to the stove so that y'all can see me cook the chips. And we're gonna cook the chicken as well. The chicken, y'all, is not even being cooked. I'm literally just gonna drop it in this pan and stir it around for like less than five minutes. We just heating it up and getting some of the water off of it, the moisture, and making it a little crispier a little bit because the oven is gonna dry out anyway. The oil is heated up. We're gonna drop it in kind of one by one. And they start bubbling immediately. Don't overcrowd the pan, but you don't have to make sure the pan is empty either. They 
start bubbling real fast. Y'all, if your oil is on high heat, these chips literally cook like super, super fast on high heat. But for beginners, I suggest putting your oil on high and then dropping it down a little. That way you don't have to like try to grab them too fast and they burn. You still give them a little time to cook in the oil. Alright y'all, so our last batch of chips is frying and we're gonna go ahead and melt the queso. Yes, I put a little lip gloss on because girl, my lips is dry. But we're gonna take our queso dip. You can season it if you want to, but with all these flavors, I just, I like it by itself. It's pretty good to me. And I'm gonna take about like two scoops, can y'all see it? And I'm gonna heat it up on like a whole minute and some change. So now we got a plate full of freshly homemade um nacho tortilla chips and i'm telling you this tastes better than tostitos it tastes better than your farmer's market it tastes better than any place you can ever you just make them at home and they're so fast this literally took like 10 minutes and that's our queso so i'm gonna sit this right here we're gonna layer our nachos i'm gonna show you how to do it in just a second okay so our cheese is nice and melted y'all it's hot i can't even hold it so while it's hot though, mix it real fast so you can get that creamy consistency and then, and then, then take this and get an oven mitt cause girl, this is hot. Take my oven mitt and I'm just gonna strain it into our, not strain it, but pour it into our squeezy bottle. It's no queso tops this queso. This is the best queso I ever got and I get it from um, the, the Mexican cheese area. I'm just gonna pour in a little bit of milk. Not too much, do not put too much. Like, put like a tablespoon or two. Two is the max, and shake it up. Now it's all shaking up, mixed together, and it's a little loose, that's what we want. Now it's time to layer our nachos. Take a handful of chips, Put them on your tray. Make an even layer on the bottom. You don't want it to be overcrowded, so take some off if you need to. Chicken and put it all over. I like to just put little chunks everywhere. Okay, so make sure you spread your chicken all around. If you miss some chips, it's okay because it's gonna be double layer and you're gonna have cheese. Now, I don't know if I mentioned cheese in the beginning of the video, but this is just regular Mexican blend cheese from your nearby Kroger, Walmart, Publix, whatever grocery store you got. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the top. If you want to go ham with your cheese, you can go ham with your cheese because it's your nachos. So once you put a nice amount of cheese, I'm gonna take our queso. Now look at this. And then, once you have that layer down, add your second layer. So repeat that, those same couple steps. For the top, I'm gonna add a little bit of my tomatoes. Now, I usually like to add all this on at the end because I don't like my tomatoes to be too warm, but I like some of them to be baked into the cheese. So, if you wanna add this in between the layers and bake it, you can, but I don't like it to be all the way warm and baked and soggy, so I just put it on the very top. This is what our loaded nachos look like, and we're gonna put it in the oven for like five minutes. On 350, it should melt really fast. Honestly, maybe less than five minutes. At the very end, I'm gonna add my guac scoop, sour cream scoop, and our jalapenos. And that'll be the end of it. All right. 
I think she's ready. The top is fully melted, that means the inside is fully melted and she comes out looking like that. So we're gonna add the rest of our rest of our fresh cilantro. We're gonna add our jalapenos. And I'll just place them where you wanna place them. y'all so this is our final product our loaded super loaded nachos easy 20 minute meal takes no time and it tastes amazing mm. the chips by itself already filler try this recipe out Tag me on Instagram at exo.zaria with three A's. It'll be right here on the screen. Get a close up of that. Yummy goodness. When you watch this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button, like this video, and turn on your notification bells. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye.